Turtles is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Turtle Pier Park, NV Salon Spa Nail and Barber Shops, HOV Medical, and Digicel. Sign up for Digicel Plus Home Light Bundles, faster internet movies, and sports. The international cruise industry is calling on the Virgin Islands to get creative as they confirmed a low passenger spending on island. Well, I can tell you that for the 2019, no, 2018 economic impact study, you're correct that your passenger spending was not phenomenal. Passenger spending was $78.11. Crew spending was $38.12, which is not phenomenal. Based on that study, cruise passengers have spent more on the sister territory, the United States of Virgin Islands. Yes. The highest spend was in the U.S. Virgin Islands. That's the Chief Executive Officer of Florida Caribbean Cruise Association, FCCA, Michelle Page. Page led a delegation of senior officials from Norwegian Cruise Line Holding, Disney Cruise Line, and Royal Caribbean Group on a one-day visit to the Virgin Islands, where they engaged several stakeholders and where it was repeatedly stressed the need for the territory to get creative to entice cruise passengers. If you want to improve passenger spend, give them something they want to buy. That's it. I, 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 I can't tell you what that is. What, what is authentically BVI? You guys know. But, but, but uh, that's how you improve the spend. You give them something they want to buy. Passengers, happy passengers spend money. And offering passengers different experiences, different things. Gone are the days that uh, we don't, we have Amazon, <laughs> so they're not looking to spend uh, money in the same ways that they did in the past. So it's offering them a taste of the British Virgin Islands, you know, whether it's food and beverage, it's experiences, it's something that they can't get back home, it's something that represents the British Virgin Islands. And that's what they're getting other places. That was at the press conference held last night, May 14, 2024, which was shortly after their meeting with taxi and delivery operators, where similar sentiments were expressed. Um, we know there's a, a, there's a need to curate the independent market and to help them, help the destinations source that market better. And I'll, I'll, I'll be quick on this and just to say that from... Uh, we sent our regional managers down here less than a month ago to do it, to look at new products, to innovate, to look at the destination, and to find new exciting things for them to offer. Um, we came back with uh, with four new products, which is four more new products that we haven't received in a long time. So the the need to innovate and our doors are always open. I think that if you wanted our contact information, you just have to ask. Uh, we willing to take on on new experiences, uh, whatever those may be. I've got to say that our incumbent operators are doing a fantastic job uh, working with us, telling us what's new, but it is the destination that has to come up with the ideas and, and the infrastructure has to exist. When you're looking at beaches, which is I think a huge incentive for especially Disney guests and family market, they want to go to the beach and we take them to the same beach, the same destination. So when we're looking at our repeat market, which is a huge segment for us, up to 50% of all seven day itineraries are repeaters. That market needs to be needs to see something new and attractive for them to be excited about the destination. So I would say that uh, as much as you challenge me, I'll challenge you back to find new exciting things for us. And my door's always open. I'll happily take your call when you're ready. Meantime, the FCCA alluded to an initiative of the Cyril B. Romney Tartola Pier Park, likely to come on stream soon. And crews spend money differently than passengers. And I think uh, Vance is going to uh, change all that because he's looking at having a crew lounge that is going to cater to uh, the crew, what they want to spend, have uh, some of the merchants be able to speak directly to the crew and facilitate what they like to buy, electronics. Uh, we talked about having uh, banking done right at the port, uh, having services provided. So... Everything is in the works to be able to accomplish what it is that uh, the, is important to the British Virgin Islands, which is having 
more of the economic impact. So you're absolutely right. It's not just improving the number of passengers, but how do you improve the spend? Because that is very important because that represents the satisfaction that the passengers and crew are getting from the British Virgin Islands. So it's a true representation. Well, this is JTV News Update, Kathy Richards. We know that where you choose to bank matters. And it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official bank of paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us, a bank that gives where it matters the most, for you, for our community, and a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands.